you guys, it's Lance Blake from Refine Horizons, and this is the second video in the set of videos I'm doing that uh, show you how we can compare the controlling calls uh, with our in our, the deed for our subject parcel with the deeds for our adjoiner parcels or our neighboring parcels. And if you watch the first video in the set, I went ahead and, and um, labeled those controlling calls from our uh, from our subject parcel deed all the way around the parcel and, and remember our land description was a lot blocked so this information actually came from the controlling subdivision map okay and so we have it now and uh, what we want to do now is we want to start to compare this to our, to our joiner parcels okay so uh, let's go ahead and do that so we're I, I like to start in the northwest corner and work counterclockwise it's just my preference it's not a rule so we're going to look at the deed for this adjoiner first okay so there's a parcel that lays right in here so uh, let's let's go and do that. And I'm actually going to pull up a, a copy of my survey because I labeled the adjoiner deeds on there, and that'll make this a little bit easier. So I'm just going to pull up that first sheet of my survey. So this is um, this deed that we want to look at is this 2010 deed. So 2010-155. So let's go pull that up. So if you come into deed research deeds. And then adjoiners. Uh, now, on your your file system, it might be different, but for my team, it's under research deeds adjoiners. Okay, here's our 2010-155 deed. So we're going to pull that open now. Uh, for for those of you that are are look are new, what we want to find here in this deed. So this is the whole deed, but what we actually want to find is the land description. So uh, this is pretty typical right here. It says, hey, your 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 land description or your legal description is in Exhibit A. So here's Exhibit A. Now this is also fairly typical. It's fairly typical to get more than one parcel in a deed. So this has two parcels, parcel one and parcel two. And so you actually have to read through this um, to see which parcel is yours. Now, in this case, it's a little bit easy because parcel one is in section two, uh, which is not the section we are in. Um, so that makes it a little bit easier. So I know that we're, we're in parcel two. We are the east half of fractional section three. So if we come back to our sketch, remember this is the north-south quarter section line of three, which means this is the west half over here, and this is the east half over here. Okay, that type of land description is what we call an aliquot description or a public land survey system description. And because he calls out the east half by inference, he is calling this quarter section line as his west boundary. So the call matches. So we're just going to make a note of that. So we're going to say a joiner deed. Let's say a joiner parcel. I'm just going to put in here that he says he's got the west half of section three. I'm sorry. He had the east half of section three. I apologize. East half of section three. Okay, and then because that matches. Let's just go ahead and uh, oop. let's make this green. Okay, so now that I know, I know that matches, if it didn't match, it would be red. Okay, now we're going to check this next parcel down here because it touches this little segment of this boundary. This is the part that's in section 10. So this is the line. This line right here is between section 3 and 10. Okay, so let's go find that deed. So that is this deed 2020-991. So here it is, 2020-991. We want to go find our land description. Okay, here it is. It's the northeast quarter of 10 and the west half of the northwest quarter of 11. So the key for us here, we know we're in section 10, northeast quarter. So if we come back and look at our map, Okay, this would be over here would be the northwest quarter. This would be the northeast quarter. So again, by inference, this north-south quarter section line of section 10 is being called as the common boundary. So we've got another match. That's good. You want matches. <laughs> so let's go ahead and mark that up. Okay, so in this case, 
it's uh, not the east half, it's the northeast quarter of section 10. And I have that in green because that is a match. Okay. So now we have uh, uh, the south adjoiner. Sorry, try not to say uh too much. So let's go look at that deed. So our deed for the south adjoiner is um, this 2011-820 deed. So let's go open that. Okay, and we want to go find the land description that's right here. So it's not in an exhibit. They put it in here. And it's parcel 2 from our same parcel map. Okay, and that's good. That's what we want, right? So we're parcel 1. He's parcel 2. No conflict here. Call matches. So let's annotate that. So I'm just going to uh, put a note in here. The adjoiner parcel is parcel 2 of PM. 32-007. Okay, and it's green because we got a match. There's no conflict. Okay, now we're going to come over here and do uh, this west line, and I know this is this is tricky. So, and I'm going to show you why it's tricky. Uh, but you guys are awesome, so I know you're going to be able to handle this. <laughs> okay, so let's go see what our deed reference is for this first parcel here on the south. So that would be. So we got two adjoiners, one, two, on our uh, west side. So we want this 2005 820 deed. Okay. <clears throat> now, this is where it gets a little tricky. Okay, we got two parcels, so we want to know which one we are. Uh, I know we're not in, in section nine, so we're not this one. We're actually this one. Uh, but the problem is, uh, the only thing they call is they call parcel lay of this parcel map waiver. And if you if you go read through here, that's the only controlling call they have. So they just keep calling this parcel lay of this parcel map waiver. Well, that, that doesn't do me any good, guys, because I don't know how parcel A of my parcel map, of that parcel map waiver relates to this, right? So that means i got to step back in the chain of title. So i got to go get the deed before this deed, right? So he calls out this document book and page for this parcel map waiver so I gotta go get this book and page and see what it says right I need to follow this back in the chain till I figure out how uh, this the east line of this parcel 2 is being defined so I and I already did that I already pulled this deed this 3094 349 so let's go look at that so I put that in ancestor because it's it's actually an ancestor of the adjoiner deed and here it is let's go look at it Okay, so this is a, a what we call parcel map waiver. Okay, but it has a legal description, which is what we want. And if we come down here and find it, um, and this is uh, this is great, except it does the exact same thing. So it calls parcel A of a different parcel map waiver. When I first looked at this, I thought it was a typo, but it's not. And again, it doesn't have any controlling call along that side of A, so this doesn't help me. So we got to go back another step in the chain. Okay, so we got to go back and get this deed that's in 3007 at page 98. Okay, so I pulled that one too. So now we're, we're, we're two or three steps back in the chain. Okay, same thing. This is also a parcel map waiver, but this one has the information we have, or the information we need. So if you come down here and look at the description of this parcel, you can see we're in section 3, which is good. And then if you follow his description around, he goes along the east line of said track 2. Okay, he goes south about uh, about a mile. And so if you come and look at our, our sketch, remember we're the west line of track 3. Okay, so this is track 3 and if you look at that old ROS, this is track 2. So let's just pull that up for you guys in case you don't remember. Okay, so we've got track 3 here, track 2 is here, you can see track 2 and track 3 are right next to each other. So our map calls, excuse me, our adjoiner deed calls the east, the east line of 
track 2, which is also the west line of track 3, so we have a match. Okay. Okay, and if you, if you go and read that actual land description, it's actually parcel A of that parcel map waiver is both of these parcels. It gets subdivided again. So, uh, we got a match for both of these parcels. Okay, but to get that, we had to go a couple steps back in the chain. Okay. Alright, so last thing we got is the north line of, of sec our north line, which is the north line of section 3. So this is, I think it's 32 and 33, you're sitting up here section 32 and 33 of this township to the north. So let's go check those adjoiners. And we actually have four, but I'm not going to make you guys sit through all of them. Okay, let's go check this one. We've got a 2007 D993. So let's go look at that. So here it is. Okay, and here's the description. So he's the east one half of the southwest one quarter of 33. Okay, and that's a match, right? So this is section three, this is section 33. He's calling that quarter section of 33, right? And so as long as he's calling either the southeast or the southwest quarter, we're a match, and he's calling the southwest quarter. Okay, so again, we have a match. So this is the uh, west half of the southwest quarter, section 33. All right, and uh, we've done our work, my friends. So uh, we've got green all the way around. That's excellent, so we don't have any gaps or overlaps in our controlling calls. They, all the all the controlling calls correspond or match with one another. Now, we haven't checked for any gaps or overlaps in the measurements. I'll probably talk about that in a separate video with a little whiteboard example. Uh, but at least, at least you guys know how to do this. I can't emphasize to you how important this process is that we just went through. It's something that a lot of surveyors fail to do, and it, it creates all kinds of problems. So anytime you're doing a resolved boundary survey, you need to understand if there's gaps or if there's, excuse me, if there's conflicts in your controlling calls with your joiner deeds, and uh, that takes some practice. You know, you got to be able to, you got to be able to read land descriptions, and you got to be able to read survey maps. Uh, but hopefully, this guy's, this will give this video, set of videos will give you guys an idea of how to do that. So hey, I appreciate you hanging in there with me on Friday evening. Um, I'm tired and stumbled over my words a little bit, but I hope this helps you. I hope it helps Danny. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.